the madman. Right. Twitch chat has chosen Lubu to carry this arena. Let's go. Lubu. Wow, manly cannons. That looks pretty good. Good control card. Blood Hoof Brave. Classic. That's the only card that doesn't suck. That card's okay. That card's really good. So is the left. I'll choose right. That card's really good. Lucky lucky. Equip a random weapon from your deck. Ooh. It is the highest win rate card. I should pick it. I'll get a weapon. There's Tidal Revenant. It got uh, nerfed from uh, 8 armor to 5 armor. Which is probably the most inexplicable change I've seen in the patch. But I'll, uh, I'll pick Tidal Revenant. That is tradable. Well, I guess if I draw the bad card, I can at least trade it away. Ooh, another Tidal Revenant. It is still good in Arena, for sure. Ooh, Bunker Sergeant is so good. Axe Berserker is so good. I don't have any weapons in my deck. It's okay. If I end up not getting any weapons, it just means the deck wasn't meant to be. This card is okay even if I don't have a weapon. Theoretically. I actually have a Control Warrior deck after this Arcanist. Interesting. Meh. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Two ways to search up the weapon. Uh, I can find the sunken trident. It's pretty good. Check. <laughs> the taunts. I have Bloodhoof Brave and Stormpike Marshal. That's not enough. This is a good card. Dredge up the weapon, potentially. I probably will try to not dredge up the weapon, because there's so many ways to search up a weapon. Uh, manly Cannons is still good. That's decent. How good is Panda in this deck? I do have double evil quarter master. Uh, it's probably better. I have a lot of threes, right? Trident, Commander, Quarter, Quarter, Barge. Yep, I do. Oh. You've cast three spells while holding this. That can't possibly be good. Uh, do I just pick it for the stats? Sidekick can't possibly be good. Uh, if I'm just picking for the stats, this is 12 stats, that's 14 stats. This is unlikely to happen. Alright, come on weapon, come on weapon. Check. Check. No, Berserker. I need the 4 drop. Weapon, 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 weapon. Eh, combatant. So let's see, what do we got here? We have a pretty solid early game, double Sky Raider. Uh, mostly a control deck with double man the cannons, which is a very good removal card. One really good weapon, which is important because I have two ways to find the weapon. And if I didn't have a weapon, it would sure would have sucked. This searches up the weapon. I could search up both sides of it in theory. Hopefully I don't draw both of the sidekicks and the berserker, and I don't draw the trident. Solid fours, reasonable, late game, double title revenant at the end is strong. It's not an insane deck, and more than ever, I think, in any arena meta, the quality of the deck is extremely important. This is not a high quality deck, but it is not low quality enough to be hopeless, so we'll give it a shot. Uh, as a fair note, I have retired some decks very very early uh now because i think that some of the decks just don't stand up in terms of strength would you like 34 dollars i want you to get this money and thank you to the sponsor of this video weeble for providing a great promotion use my link below deposit at least one penny and they're going to give you six free stocks up to $12,600 in value, minimum $34. And keeping it real, you're probably going to get a little bit more than $34, unless you're extremely lucky. But hey, this is like the easiest $34 of your life. Now, I am a very big believer in investing. I've made a few videos about it, 
and I even have a Patreon where I talk about how I'm personally investing. And I would hope that everyone is investing early and often. Uh, it is great to look out for your financial success in the future. And to do that, you gotta get started now. They are bribing you with free money. Go do it. It's a really good UI. I personally use it in order to track my portfolio because you can configure it to show whatever you want. You get your 34 free dollars. You put it into a well-diversified low-cost index fund, such as VTI. You wait one or two decades, again, setting very realistic expectations here, keeping it real, and then poof, it's $100. And hey, uh, let's say you're super rich out there. You don't even care about this $34. Well, when you sign up, you're also gonna give me even more money. If you like my content, great way to give you and me a lot of money. So thank you again, Weeble, for the great promotion. Use link below, sign up, get your free money. Value for all. Get us versus my dear. Wow, what a cool portrait. Welcome to my eternal party. There are two uh, evil quartermasters in this deck as well, and th those are a really big deal. I uh, understated that part of the deck. And the double man the cannons is also strong. Magical phenomena. Strong curve. So we got the Arcanist to uh, pull things back, I suppose. We got the armor from both this and that. Lol Lackey. The Queen's trove is forbidden. Please don't burst my bubble. After this minion takes exactly one damage, destroy it. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, bye. Wait, what? It's bugged? Don't! Oh my god, chat just saved me. The bubbler dies to itself. Okay, so from what I'm getting, the bubbler will die, but the arcanist will not repeat? Interesting. Worked for me? It kills itself, not you. Interesting. Huh. Okay. That's good to know. I definitely was about to make a misplay there that was not obviously going to be a misplay. But fortunately, Twitch chat is wise. Pretty low. And don't want to have a berserk, I suppose. Go hopper. Oh, one, two, three. Very good. Don't think in this deck the axe berserker is worth keeping in the hand. A lot of decks the Axe Berserker would be strong enough to keep. It's because I only want to draw two of the cards that get me my weapon. The fire's 
The saves the three four seems good. That was terrible. <laughs> that was that was terrible. This is our chance. I smell blood. This is our chance. for Tidal Revenant to clean up. Return all spells you played last turn to your hand. Oh, flanking maneuver. Right, of course. Hit it. Draconic Lackey. This will break your nice. Do I bounce the Quartermaster or do I bounce the Draconic Lackey? It's it's the Draconic Lackey. The Draconic Lackey is the OP one. <laughs> oh Jesus. I can't hold all this armor. About to get wrecked by any number of methods. Strike now. I forgot that I would take one damage on the quartermaster. Oh well.
Why are my cannons hitting my own minions? I guess I'll play Raid Boss in X here. I suppose. I don't have a dragon in my hand though. Lackeys are really good. Oh, I forgot to trade! I forgot to trade! Oh my god. Wait, I actually forgot that Guild Trader got a lot better after I picked up the second Manly Cannons. Wait, this, I could actually claim that this is correct and not trade the lackey. The, the traitor. Wait, I might actually just be a genius. That is very problematic. Hmm, I would hate for my guy to just die without dealing with it. I think I have to witchy lackey this. Start running. Eh, okay. It's not great, because most of the cards would be threatening enough for the Promotional Explorer to trade into, but I guess it gets it done. Got seven drop, eight drop coming up. More slow minion. I don't think either of those other cards will help. Plus three seems likely. Guess we'll just pressure the face. I'm not going down without a fight. Ooh, opponent just pressed into dangerous territory. They're at ten if I kill this. Cuddle, Revenant, go face, hit face? Ten? Seven? And then all I have to do is like, yeah, that seems good. Get him. Then all I have to do is kill the Dark Spear Berserker to win the game. After free booting them for two. So all I have to do is 
Let's hit the face once. And kill this minion. Ah! Hunter! Why are you cheating? I believe I will mulligan this hand. This hand is awesome. Man the cannons now. Will it be too late later? We can always send the damage in there and then man the cannons later. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. Fireball ready. Wow, that was strong. Kinonatron into sharpshooter. Super strong. Don't want to play that into a shellfish, or do I? That might be okay. Uh, it's curve. Might have been a good idea to send these two in. It probably was. Two extra damage to face. Uh, I regret it. Oh, the punish. Hmm. I actually got seriously punished. This isn't bad, but it's uh, definitely a lot worse than just pre-sending the 2-1 attacks in. Interesting turn. Snake trap? Guess what drops. Really weird secret to play during that timing and then play a 1-1. One -one. It doesn't seem like emergency maneuvers. Ice trap is terrible. Snake trap, freezing trap, explosive trap. Freezing trap is super weird to play on an empty board, so is explosive. So I think I have to conclude that it's snakes. Add a random card from the- wow, okay. Okay. Explosive trap in an empty board. Did you really do that? Or is it freezing trap, which will help me? That's explosive. But I'll gladly stand you off here. Sadly, you don't get the uh, three copies at 7-7. Learned that the hard way before. 
<laughs> Lol. All patched up. He's really oh. selling it. Alright. I believe you. We have plotted long enough. I'm trying to think if there's a better move than just manning the cannon. Can't think of a better one. Drop three, drop four, drop seven, and dump. Ba -da -ba -ba -dum -ba -dum. The seven drop is actually a very high win rate card when you hit with it. And I have the perfect curve. Could have coined four drops, and it's actually going to be pretty hard to play Bob and Naga without playing the coin. But I still think this is better. Coin Bob and Naga? Do I play Goblin Lackey on that? I think yes. <sighs> or do I just play Axe Berserker to trade that off and then draw me the thing? Uh. What you want me kill? The boss. Coin Valley, blah blah blah. That does mean one of the selfless sidekicks is now useless, but shrug. Goblin Lucky Valley. Sweet. I can execute that. Seems good. Do I just play the other selfless sidekick? Seven mana, six six. Not the end of the world. Ah, I had lethal. I got your back. 
five. Oh yeah, double. Kill that thing. That's pretty good. Check. This priest got... <sighs> What's the verb to use here? I... Mr. Lethal. Ah, I see. Uh, it's BM. It's BM. I wanted to kill the minion! Please control the board! I didn't see it. The nice thing is, even if I draw patches, which is the trident, I at least will always have one weapon in my deck. And it will be a really strong weapon. Uh, the sunken version. Another happy guildy. Someone's gotta lead the charge. Sorry, Squishy, I'm working. How do I get a shadow card in my hand? Hmm. Man the cannons. Or evil quartermaster and then splash. Plus the one two is still a threat. Eh. Oh, best lackey. Pretty good man the cannon. Man can. I can't remember, is Ysiris Nightmare a shadow spell? That would have probably been a like I'm I'm not saying that would be likely, but it was the likeliest way to get that to activate. Alright. Let's get an Anixia. Is Azure Drake or Pronomial Drake better? Hmm. I think the one that's always good. Six, six, rush. That's pretty good. That's really good. Check. Look at that, the survive thanks to the buff. Why wouldn't I choose buffed Azure Drake? Shuck! My power play! Out. I was stringing words together there. Oof. What up? I can take the pain. Someone's gotta lead the charge. Ooh. What you want me kill? You the boss. Oh. 
All right, what's in the box? Secret. Drink. Snowman. Flame strike. Blizzard. Snap freeze. Fire sail. Oh, that's traded. Meh. What now? The eye beam gives me an answer to the tray tray. Seems pretty good. I don't have to attack that thing. Uh, right. Looks like it's Oasis Ally. I have a brilliant way to play around Oasis Ally. Never attack a minion. <laughs> womp womp. Or or is that womp womp? Could be good. At the end of your turn, cast another spell from your deck. Or it could be lethal. Get me out of here! Arr. You ready? Someone's gotta lead the charge. Sky Raider has been a winner for me. Look at this winning tempo play. Dang. Woof. Oh, you hate to see that. Out of the way. I thought about if there's any card that I'd want to play right now for two, and there wasn't. Let's see, what do I take? We got the master cannoneer here. Hmm. Do I trade a traitor away? No. <laughs> no, actually. It's worth the option. I was like almost certain I was going to trade this away. Uh, five and three. Well, now I regret not trading it. Eh, there's an option, I guess. Meh. Bye. Another happy guilty. Push damage? Oh wait, just trade this, of course. 
<laughs> uh, okay. Traded into something pretty good. Let's see, what do I take? Never back down. The thing I hate about playing Whirling Combatant is it puts those into range. Uh, puts the dark spear in the range, but oh well. A berserker and a combatant. Oh, that's right, I can actually actually play the soldier check. And only life steals once. Hey, hey, stop cheating. Hey. Gain armor equal to damage taken. I just need to, like, think about for a moment, does that only gain one armor? Yes. That- this card is too good with lackeys. I have the lackey card in my hand. Huh. There's only- mm hmm. Could always just play it on turn two, but then I miss having the brewmaster. I hope I actually draw a two drop and I don't have to make the decision to play this two mana for tempo on turn two. Oh, thank goodness! Hi, Sky Raider. Easy game. <laughs> Pray, Sky Raider. This lackey is not very lackey. Eh, still... Actually, that's just a 1-3 for 1. But... It's still a 1-3 for 1, I guess? Hmm. Behold my strength! Probably means his explosive runes. Direwolf Commander? Sorry, buddy.
he's definitely run me out of cards. <sighs> oh, that's a really good target. But he got more cards. But I have a big card and I killed a big card. That was a lot of series of turns of kill a guy, make a guy. Hi, Octane Game! The dream is that Revenant lands, la lives until turn 10, I get a good trade-off with it, and then I play it again. That really could happen. That will happen. <laughs> When I have two of these. Hogs on the loose. Kill a guy, make a guy, kill a guy, make a guy. Doof, doof, doof. Kill a guy, make a guy, kill a guy, make a guy. bottom cards in my deck are bad. Pretty sure I shouldn't be playing this. What's the point in not dredging? When I get myself with sidekick, the dredge might find something better. So, saying that the bottom cards won't change is wrong. That's wrong! The bottom cards will change as I want them to. Yeah, fool. I will will them to change. Why did we not double dredge last turn? Eh, that leads to a game state where I'll lose. Better to just top deck and wreck. This this is something. Is there any point to lacking it first? No, I can just lack you at second. Oh yes, because I want the frenzy to hit this. Guess what dropped? Behold my strength. Now maybe we get a good card on the bottom? Meh. If you just attack the water elemental, I think you unfreeze. That's true. You're right. I would. That would have been a good move. In this case, my move ended up being better, but that doesn't mean it was right. Alright, I can kill the bird, but I think I'll wait to get a little bit more. We're on uh, super limited resources now. Woof. Hmm. 
That's scary. That one damage to the face instead of killing the loot hoarder. That's pretty telling. This is like burn or something. <laughs> I'm still good, I'm still good. I'm still good, I'm still good. Yeah! <laughs> I'm still good. Incredible! I'm still good! The barons are ours! You are worth it after all. So, looking for a four drop. I guess that was a four drop. What do I take? Generally good card. Take the average card over the cards I don't need. Take a left. Sidekick and Skyrider left. The problem. Yeah, right. How oh, boring. You know, the interesting thing is there was a case to be made about the 7 mana 8 8, given that I have two other 8s in my hand. I didn't even think about the middle one. Missed. Okay. Well, definitely looking a lot better now. I didn't bounce. Mistake? Turning tides. Let's switch your mind. There's gonna be a lot of good stuff to bounce. Let's bother Naga. Dealing three damage this ever be useful. This lackey is useful. Yeah. Oh, nice weapon. Equip there. Huh. Yikes. Mm, there's my Baba Naga target.
That was a good selfless sidekick combo in Hunter of all things. Hey, uh, rules question. If I play Deathwing and I attack Primordial Explorer first, I don't get to attack the other two, right? I'm pretty sure that's the case. Yeah. Deathwing does survive here. Now, do I brew back Deathwing? The answer is yes. Don't let me down, Sky Rider. You haven't let me down yet. Is there trouble? Here, girl. I smell an ambush. Oh, no beast in the deck. Oh, rush. That's good. Is that good? It doesn't matter. This can get. Three attack off. I don't need to rush. I'd rather have the card. Two of the bottom cards are quite bad, but I can at least trade one of them. There's no reason to kill this super fast, and I can always kill it fast later if it's really a problem. I do think I play this, and if I get Guild Trader, then I can just get a random card instead. So I have to decide if a random card is better or worse than the 3-6. Eh, this could be good, especially with the shoulder check. Then I can deal 5 and pull something cool. Mm, seems decent. That would be a good strong tempo turn. Wait. 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 <laughs> Wait. This <laughs> bear. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> you know, I've been uh, alluding at the beginning that There is some, uh, there are some really powerful decks in Arena. And, uh, if you don't get a really strong deck, it's, uh, it's pretty hard to win. In this particular format. Okay. Don't think rushing anything is useful. I should probably trade this. The card is better. But I have to go first. I should play this. Yeah, it's actually hard to do... It's... Okay. I played this instead of that because, uh... Six is better than seven. Oh no, that's seven. Oh, dear. Hmm. Eh, that's right, there's all these nightmares and stuff. Incredible. 
Yeah, that, that's a really good deck. It's a really, really good deck. Right, the nightmare. <laughs> oh, that's 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 good. I appreciate that. I really do. This hunter, he caught the perfect card on the river. Unlucky. Run the runner! Yes, Sarah, yes, Sarah. Combo. <laughs> I don't believe these two were ever in standard together. I don't actually recognize the sigils. This is Battle for Alterac. This is... I don't know. Time for sick combo. Barons. Oh, that... That is a combo. Huh. Constructed deck idea? <laughs> Look at that! What a payoff! I hope this fits on the ship. Are you really counting on getting one damage on it? Out of stuff. No title revenant for me. <laughs> Unless? Unless they're looking at these three cards. <laughs> oh, how sad. Oh, sad title revenant. Oh, I'm so sorry. Game. Oh, 
I just know that I should, like, never actually find the weapon, because I have so many ways in the deck to find the weapon. Unless, like, it's... Unless the game is about to end the next turn. It's a good three. It's a good four, but I don't have a two. But it is a good four. Huh. It's okay, Sky Raider will provide. Praise Sky Raider. to decide if I want to draw a weapon or if I want to create a 2-2 two -two wolf. What do you guys think is better? Draw a weapon. Summon a 2-2 two -two wolf. I think it's the weapon. Because we get the super weapon after. Post in your comments. Draw the weapon or summon the wolf. <laughs> the more I thought about it, the more clear was the uh, weapon, though. Alright, so I need to make sure I have as many ways as possible to get honorable kills. Uh, so I probably should just play Bloodhoof Brave. I, I should try to kill this, though. But there's no... I could guard the city freebooter? Eh, okay. Meh. You want to guard the honorable. Value for rider. Those one health minions are both very spooky. What? How did you get those one fruit of flight deck in our arena? Gross. Absolutely disgusting. Alright. Alright, what's gonna happen? Oh boy. Alright, that was one of the less bad ones. I think I'm supposed to... yeah, yeah. Not playing the uh, Colossus. I think that means one of the Colossus is the 10 mana one. I haven't played with it much, so I don't actually know what it does. Fills the board with one threes. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, that's the eight. Yes, I thought that was. That's the, the tentacle. Summon two tentacles and then what, like, Russian Wind Fury or something? Uh, poke. Ten mana, Neptulon. Right, Rush Wind Fury. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. Fortunately, we killed him. That's good. Oh! No. I cannot. I got your back. Ah, 
I'm going second loot hoarder. It's not great, but I don't have that many two drops in the deck to mulligan the loot hoarder. I'm considering coining guard the city, and then I play loot hoarder on the turn where they go up to three mana. That could be good. I don't really have anything that I'm coining to. I don't have any like super unfair plays. So I'll just use it efficiently. If the three mana turn is spent fire blasting, loot hoarder has done his job. the first game where I've drawn Trident, which is really lucky, uh, because Trident is basically patches in this deck. Error. Hot bucket. But if I don't draw any more selfless sidekicks or axe berserkers, I'm also still good. Mm, nice. So I want this to not hit face, I guess I should play this first. Nice. I can't play that into that. Like, okay, on seven I can equip an attack with the super weapon. It might be a good plan. Should I play no minion this turn? Hmm, I wonder. Furthermore, I could actually attack face with this because I am equipping the super weapon next turn. <sighs> if I just play this, it'll just die to that, and that'll be very sad. Yeah, I better do this because taunt would ruin me? No, taunt wouldn't ruin me. I just hit the taunt with the... Kinda weird. I'll play it pretty face up also. Eh. Just in case I... I actually do this mostly for deception purposes. If I hit the face, it's too obvious what I'm going to do next turn. And then I think they could play around that. It's very rare that I do something for deception purposes. Oh, uh, I'm like, eh, three damage to face. Play set, um, my next play isn't that obvious. Alright. I like the idea of a Razor Main Raider shoulder checking someone. six damage I guess. I have two options. One is to pass, the second is to play this. And I'm going to consider the pass option. 
A pass option is bad. Check is an interesting option. Puts them at 11. 8. It would mean that if I had attacked, I could have set them down to 5-ish for the Tidal Revenant. Hmm. Razorman Raider play is actually really interesting. I could even, like, return it. Hmm. I think there's a few interesting lines, but this one keeps my weapon. To, like, be able to hit minions. There's a lot of interesting lines. Guys, so many of them. Okay, so this is two, that's four if I attack with a weapon. Or poke, that's one, that's two. If that's one and that's two, then spammy does it. That's four. Hmm. Hmm. Behold my strength! I don't believe Youthful is very good here. This card isn't that good either. Uh, armor up, pass. I think I want to do exactly 3 damage to that to get the combatants. I don't want to play the commander. I'd rather save it for later. If this dies, commander can check that, I guess. Check, check, check. All you do is check. Oh, wow. It's been a while since I've drawn manly cannons. I won't go down without a fight. Wait. I would have killed that. Let's give him a wolf welcome. I thought the snowman would end up at two health. That's where my math error came. Error, 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 error. Oh, that's a good card to check. Check. Oh, Baba. Check. Face Naga? Face Baba? Or just armor? I think he played it. Okay, I know one of the cards is Snowman. I should wait. Is that a deal five? Oh man, that pyromancer from forever ago. <laughs> okay, well, I've got two turn lethal revenant and then a uh, naga. Oh nope, that doesn't work. Nope. <laughs> Is that what I should go for? Three turn lethal? Yeah, yeah. I guess I get the armor in between. It's. Pretty good. All right, all right. What a magic moment. You don't have an audience with the king. Hmm. Despair at your inevitable doom. This will make him rage. <laughs> okay. 
It's a good curve. Looks promising. Come on, Sky Raider. Show up. I will also take a two drop, I suppose. Oh well. Let's see. Probably won't choose to attack here. That turns out to be good for me. Eh, it doesn't matter if they attacked or not though, to be honest. Okay, Stormpike Marshall potentially will be costing one. Combo! Combo! It's a good deal. Oh my god, Bloodseeker. Wait, should I have even played this? <laughs> I guess not. Feels like a freezing trap. A mistake. Two, five, seven, nine, fourteen, sixteen damage. I haven't decided which one I want freezing trapped yet. Good curve. I'm glad I got as far with this deck as I did. I think 10 wins with this deck is quite good. You know, when you when you really look at all the decks that I went up against, that was quite good. I'm looking forward to like getting the super Imba OP deck. 